Welcome to this fast presentation of IC. When you start IC, you have here a bandwidth here, containing different onglets that will allow you to have different operations. First, you have the files and regions of interest tools. Open and save as, and you can point or use different type of uh, region of interest tools. What you will do here is to open uh, image of interest, let's say this one, or another one, which are here the images we are usually using for qualitative microscopy demonstrations. Here we have an electron micrograph and in this electron micrograph you can see that we have already a lot of informations. One of them being here that we have some different points which are regions of interest. When we look at this picture, here on the right side we have the sequence canvas containing the window of what we are looking at and you can actually zoom in and travel across your picture like that. What you can also do is set a specific zoom of your image and you can eventually add some rotation which are graphical user interface rotation. You can also rotate it by using a right click and rotate around the center of the image. If you're around the side a corner of the image like going there, the rotation will always happen in the center of the image. As you can see then we have rotated somewhere else out of the image. What we can do then is we can reset the zoom to 50% for example, this is the rotation to 0% and we can have a full screen image as it is here. Now when, when we look at the histogram here we have different values and we can just play around with the histogram to have a proper display. Here we have the channel uh, onglets. This one Kemeza corresponds to the camera we've been using and we have here the name of the picture the location of uh, safety here in that place. You can also edit the different the different sequence properties. Like you can change the name of the picture. You can also adjust the pixel size according to what you need and the values, and the Z as well. And you can change the name of the channel here. Came as a corresponding to channel zero. We will see later on that we can use several channels and have a name per channel. Now from there, if you're looking at this picture, as we said earlier on, we have some LOI points. These regions of interest here are stored in the region of interest window which are containing different 2D points. You can just highlight them by just selecting them separately according to what you need. Then we have the layer value. In the layers you will see several things. Here we have the image of interest and we have here the scale bar that can come in and out when we zoom out and we have a full screen image like this so you can also adjust the different scale bars uh, according to what you need. You also have here the output that contains different information about your system and the different processing you will be doing. Then last but not least you have here a chat window in which you could con connect and have a discussion with users. It depends whether or not some people which are aware of your, of your plugin are connected and then they could help you to sort your, pro your questions. Now going back to the sequence image and if we look at the fluorescence micrograph here we realize that we have several more channels. We have the quantum dots which is also an mcherry and if we look at the edit file we will see that the channel 0 is called quantum dots mcherry. The second one is in hooks, the third one in transmitted light and the last one in transfer in Alexa. This is helpful when you want to know the name of your channels and not having them sorted just by color. Then you can also play with the histogram, so you select this one, you can switch it on and off and you can adjust the histogram as you wish. Then you can also go to the transmitted light here and you can switch it on and off as you wish. Transmi the host can also be adjusted so that you will see only the structures of interest. And also fun transfer in Alexa where the signal of interest will appear at the bottom layer of our picture. So this is the whole system. Then you can have different informations and you can also adjust the sequence operation. Here you have different things that will help you out to sort your images the way you like. This is a very convenient tool when you're doing the quantum dots or you want to have a Z stack and you want to when rearrange. When you want to do some processing which are also embedded into the image J file, you can go here into the image J. From there you can go into detach mode where pictures will be separated from your uh, window and you can convert your image like this one into image J format. As you can see it opens in image J. 
here you can do all the processing you are usually doing as you can see the region of interest are also uh, transferred so you can find them back and here you can do your processing as you are usually doing you can like for example do um, find edges and it has found the edges you can adjust the brightness and contrast auto and assuming this is what you were expecting to do with your ImageJ software you can convert it back to IC now the image is back into IC and if you're looking at the inspector you can see that your images here are exactly the same converted back to IC where you can process them further now from there we will just go back into attach mode because this is most convenient and we can switch off this image that we're not interested for the moment you can also use different plugins which are under different sub names so detection and tracking processing tools microscopy developmental tutorials are for uh, developers and then finally plugins if you have installed a plugin last but not least if you want to launch a plugin or search for a plugin go into the search bar and type the plugin of interest here in that case ECLAM and you can just simply start the ECLAM plugin and start doing your image processing or image registration thank you for watching this tutorial and hopefully you will like to see some more